In this video, I will show you how to log out from a user. So last video, we have learned how to keep the user login, but now we are stuck inside the home page. So we would like to log out. Okay. First of all, we will go inside the decision tree because in this one, we will need to have the same thing as the login page. So an unsign out function that will go on the unrefresh. To do that, we can go in the home page and in this one, we will be able to create, by example, a new raise it button. So let's start with that. Right after the app bar widget, we will say the argument home, uh, argument body, sorry. And in this body argument, we will create the raise it button. Okay. In the raise it button, what will be the trigger? For now, we will put an empty function and then we'll add the argument child. The argument child is what we will put inside this raise it button. And what we will put inside will be a text widget. The text widget will be to display some uh, text inside the uh, application. So inside the raise it button. And we will display the logout word. Good. Then, when we press uh, on the button, what will we trigger? Okay, so by example, uh, what we will do now is go over the, uh, right after the stateless widget, we will write logout. So we will create a function called logout. And then inside this one, we will add what we want to trigger. That's good. And what we want to trigger is the Firebase auth dot instance dot sign out. So it is sign out. Yeah. This one. Perfect. So now if we go over, we can see that this is a future void and it is uh, to log out. If you, you can read the description if you want. So it is a future void. Okay. So what we will need to do is put a future void, oops, future void before the logout. Okay. So right here, we write future void. And then I will just make it a little perfect. And then you can add the async and the await before the Firebase auth. So this will wait for the user to log out and then sign out. And after that, what we will do, we will call a function called the unsign out and we will need to create this function. So when we will call the unsign out, we will send a null value inside. So let's create the unsign out function. We write unsign out and we need to create final before final function unsign out. And what will be inside the function will be the user, the current user. And because we are calling unsign out with null inside, the user will be null when we will uh, call the function. And this is what we want. Okay. Then we can create the constructor like that, but I like to do it uh, manually because in this way you learn way more. So let's call. So to call the constructor, you rename the class name. So home page, then you put your two bracket just like that. And then you can say this dot on sign out. So the name of the function, here we go. And then you put your semicolon at the end and you can add as well the at required before just to tell Flutter that this is needed absolutely. Okay. So we can see the, the problem in this page. We will need to add the argument inside the home page. You press control space and you will see the on sign out. Then this on sign out, we'll need to trigger something else. And as you can see, it is a function user. So it return a function with a user. And if you remember, the user is null. So we will call this variable user, user credential. And like the other one, like we just put the arrow and we say on refresh, we could put an arrow or we could put those two brackets, curly bracket. It is pretty much the same, but the difference is when you put an arrow, you can put only one function after. But if you put the curly bracket, you can put multiple inside. Right now, we only need one, one. So we'll put the arrow and we'll say 
on refresh and we will send the user information. And the user information, it is the null. Good. So what will, uh, so this raise it button, if we recap, this raise it button will call the logout function. Okay, I will put this semicolon. So this will call the logout function. Then the logout function will call the Firebase instance dot sign out. So it will call to sign out from Firebase. Then this will trigger the unsign out function that have a null user inside. And this unsign out function will be trigger from the decision three. So as you can see right here, and this unsign out will return the user, aka null, and will trigger the unrefresh with the null user inside, inside the unrefresh. So we have the null, and then the set state will build again this page. So rebuild everything, and the user in this case will be null. So if user equal null, then you return the login page. So that's it. And if we press on it, we can see that we are now inside the login page and you can do it as many times as you want. You can like log in and log out and log in and log out. But as you can see, every time we log in, we see another user, so another UID. And if we go back inside our authentication, you will see that you will have many anonymous user. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this video. Last thing that we will need to watch is in the login page. As you can see, the function login anno, anonymous, we should put before it the future void, like we did inside the home page. So this is way better. So that's it for this video, and see you on the next one. Bye.